Hey, I got a little secret for you, but make sure you keep it to yourself because this is just for you guys. So whether you're replacing a part in your brake system, or changing up the fluid, or perhaps your brakes are feeling squishy, you're going to need to bleed your brake system. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. We'll start off with filling the brake reservoir with brake fluid. So whether it's the front or rear brakes that you're working on, there'll be a cap that you'll have to remove to fill the reservoir. Now you can fill up the cylinder with a high quality brake fluid. I prefer to use Galfer brake fluid but there's also many other good brands out there. With the cylinder full, pump the lever or brake pedal several times until it starts to build pressure. Now we're ready to bleed the air out of the system. You'll need to find a way to catch the brake fluid coming off the bleeder valve. I just use a water bottle with a hose connected to it. So the process I use for bleeding the brakes is I'll pump the lever or pedal three times and hold it in, and then crack the bleeder valve down at the caliper until a little fluid comes out and then close it right back up. Repeat this process until you feel like the lever has adequate pressure. If you've just replaced the brake line or caliper, you're gonna have to do a lot of bleeding to remove all the air out of the system. Continually check up on the fluid level up at the master cylinder. If you run it dry, you'll just let more air into the system. If you're not making much progress with the bleeder valve, I'd move to the banjo bolt holding the brake line onto the caliper. You can move a lot more fluid and a lot more air if you're bleeding through this bolt. Honestly, if you're starting with a dry system, I'd just go straight to the banjo bolt rather than messing with the bleeder valve. If you're having trouble getting any pressure within the system, you can start bleeding at the master cylinder banjo bolt where the brake line connects and then move down towards the caliper banjo bolt and then the bleeder valve. Once you've got good pressure within the system, fill your master cylinder back up and you can reinstall the cap. So here's my little secret. If you can't get any firmness in the lever, put a zip tie around the lever and tighten it to the handlebars and leave it overnight. This has been known to work pretty good. The reason why this works is because once you build pressure within the system, the air bubbles will naturally travel upwards and out of the brake fluid at the top of the master cylinder. I always appreciate you guys watching the video and stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming your way. And for you KX250 and YZ250 owners, I just released a bunch of new inventory up on the website this past week, and I've got the link for that down below. See ya.